Before you jump into the video, let me quickly tell you about our math video game called Mage Math and all the other cool activities on our website. Mage Math is a full video game that will help your child become more confident in math and have fun at the same time. On the website, we have all our math videos, math worksheets, virtual math escape rooms, math mysteries, and more learning activities. You can find the game and all our amazing website content at magemath.com. There will be a link in the description as well. Hey guys, and welcome to the Length and Measurement Village. Today we are learning about length and measurement. This village is said to house a giant tree creature that is really big, but I don't see any, so I guess it is just a myth. Why don't you guys learn about length and measuring while I keep looking for a giant tree creature? Probably doesn't exist. When we talk about measurement and length, it can be kind of tricky, so pay attention. A long time ago, people used to measure things with their hands and feet. Ew, gross. While this seemed like a good idea, you might realize that this caused problems and not just because of the stinky feet. For example, take a look at your foot. If you were to measure something with your foot, it would be different than if your parent measured with their foot. Chances are your parent's foot is bigger than yours. So using non-standard measurements can cause some issues if we are not careful. What we can do is practice measuring or comparing the length of items with things that we already know. For example, this is a pencil, and you have probably used them at home or in your school class. A brand new pencil that has not been used can be compared to other objects to guess their length. Let's try to find how many pencil lengths a desk is. Before we do, we must remember that in order to compare measurements, we need to use the same size object to measure. So if you and your friend measure this desk, you would need to use the same size pencil for both your measurements, or you can just use the same pencil. We also need to remember that both the desk and pencil need to line up together so they get the exact measurement. Lining up the edges is important. Let's count how many pencils it takes to measure the desk. One, two, three, four, five. The desk is approximately five pencils long. Great job, guys. Here is a small garbage can, and we will use the pencils to measure how tall it is. This garbage can is about how many pencils tall? The garbage can is about four pencils tall. Awesome job again. Now let's measure a cup. We will measure this small cup with another object that you may see inside a classroom. This is a paper clip. We are going to measure this cup to see how many paper clips tall this cup is. The cup is about three paper clips tall. Great job again. Let's do one more using paper clips. Here is a dog with a row of paper clips lined up. I don't want you to count them all. Just tell me what you think. Do you think the dog is about one paper clip long, three paper clips long, or 15 paper clips long? Think about it, and remember, you don't need to count them all since this question is kind of a guess. Paper clips are small, and the dog is fairly long, so the dog is about 15 paper clips long. Great job! Sometimes we may not have the object with us to measure, so we need to give it our best guess. Thanks for learning about measurement with me today. Hey guys, I hope you have learned a lot about measurements. I happen to have found the tree creature. I think it's coming this way. I think I'm going to go home now. See you guys. Bye. Thank you for watching the video. To support me in making more videos, please check out my game Mage Math and the other cool content on my website. I know you will love the game and all the other fun activities for your kids. Please share the link below with teachers and friends. Your support helps me make more fun content for kids.